Ladies and gents, welcome back to another match preview. We're going to call this season, it's called a little bit different. It's called the match preview show. So every week we're going to discuss when Celtic are playing, um, obviously the preview of the match. Um, Celtic this weekend will be looking for revenge against Hearts, who they faced on opening day. Um, before we get it, guys, subscribe, like, recently put on the, the match day vlog against Javlinek. 3.2 thousand. Love to see it, but if I were to... Let's get into it, and Celtic will be looking, as I said, for revenge, uh, but one more, one step closer to win the fifth Scottish, Le Scottish League Cup in six years, when they host High Flying Hearts in the second round on Sunday. Uh, both sides were eliminated at this stage of the competition last season, with the Hoops suffering a surprise loss to Ross County. I mean, to be honest, last season, I mean, it, it, it couldn't get any worse, but it did, you know, we lost to Ross County, and it just got down, very downhill from that, you know, but new season... New Era for Celtic, um, whilst uh, Hearts were defeated by Alwa. I feel like that was an big shock. After a slow start in his tenure at Celtic, boss Ange Postcoglis finally got his side on, on the right track with three impressive wins on the bounce, scoring 13 goals in the process. Celtic's most recent success was a comfortable free victory over uh, Czech side FK Jablonet. Of course, I was at the game, guys. It was a brilliant game. Um, 3 0 winners, 7 2 in aggregate was great. We now face Altmar we're doing the pre round on Wednesday. Well, Tuesday because the game's on Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. Um, there's no doubt about that. You, you know, we might say it's not as tough as some Celtic fans say. It's still going to be a tough game. It's the first leg is at Celtic Park, so you've got to just set the set the tone for the leg, the playoff round. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but we are talking about uh, the Hearts game and a brace from Turnbull and a strike from James Forrest to help the Hoops sail into the final playoff round. One of those, I say, face Dutch side. Is it out more later um, this week? Uh, Posco hailed his side's performance and heaped the praise on his the incredible atmosphere. I mean, it was an outstanding atmosphere created by a park parkhead crowd, stating that it was even more a thrill than he anticipated. The Hoops now turn their attention to their League Cup clash against the Hearts side, who beat them 2 1 in the opening Premiership match in July, the end of July there. So they were limited in a disappointing fashion at a stage of the League Cup last season when they suffered a shock 2 0 defeat at home at Ross County, which sparked hundreds of fans protest outside the stadium. We don't want that now. Um, but. The hoops seem to be in a strong, you know, a slightly stronger position than now than they were, you know, obviously last time, this time last year, and they should be, they should be confident in progressing to the quarterfinals. I mean, we should be at home, park crowd, parkhead, full stadium again. You know, we've got the, the fans are behind the players, the players are back. You know, what I mean, the fans are back, Ange, and it was brilliant to see Ange, the whole team go around the stadium on Thursday night, and you know, just thank the fans for, you know, backing them and supporting them, and especially Thursday night, it was. Phew, yeah, even you have a lot of long game. Oh, brilliant. Um, but Hearts have maintained their 100% record across all competitions when they beat St Mirren 2 on away from home in the Premiership last weekend. Goals are side at half time from Andy Howden and Liam Boyce helped the Jam Tart secure all three points in Paisley, extend their run to six and matches. Robbie Nielsen, of course, the Hearts manager, cruised to the top of Group A in the League Cup this season, winning all four of their matches. Um, you know, aggregate score of 8 0. Well, uh, they now face a much tougher task, of course, than from Celtic side. Though their league victory against them at Tynecastle gave them confidence. You know why not? They should, you know, they should go in for comps. You know, they beat us in the open day season. I thought Hearts were good, but you know, Celtic could have beat them at the end of the day. Um, so, on Saturday tomorrow it's going to be because I'm recording this on Saturday. I think it'll prove it'll test most teams to be honest with you. But I think Celtic need to go out there and you know test Hearts. You know, get the goals in. Kyle go definitely. I'll back him at starting game. Brilliant, ex excellent on Thursday night. You know, he could could have had, had another hat trick if it wasn't for the Jab night keeper. It was really good on Thursday night. Who, who stopped him from scoring. But um, looking forward to tomorrow's game, the League Cup game. Hopefully, you know, I'm looking looking for another victory. Hopefully, anyway. Um, last time Hearts were victorious at Parkhead was back in April 2012, and they won two in the Scottish Cup. And since then, I've lost 14 of the last 15 trips there with the current form. Nielsen will hope that his size positive momentum can end this run and get them over the line this weekend. Celtic will still be without four league Griffiths and defender Christopher Julian, who continue to recover from respect of calf and knee injuries. It looks like Julian will be back for uh, the end of August, going into September, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure about Lee Griffiths, but I know about Julian. Uh, Centre-back Stephen Welsh has started last too much in the Part of the defence, and he could keep his place up on this side on Sunday ahead of obviously beat on. There's no doubt about that in my mind. I mean, you see it on you see the difference, you know, especially going back to the last weekend Dundee game, a clean sheet, six 0 winners. You know, 
a, an actual centre back. You know, he's not the best in the world. You know, he's not a, an outstanding centre back. You know, he's still young, but he gets you. You know, he, he's a he's a talented, talented young centre back, young defender. And Starfield's just got to learn. You know, not to make them reckless challenges. You, you know, I think Celtic were uh, Starfield was lucky not to give away a penalty Thursday night. It's a reckless challenge when you just slid right in. You know, you can't do that in the box. You know what I mean? Um, but they're definitely never shot. Luckily. Um, and he's just got to learn, you know, that back defensive partner of Starfelt and Welsh, you know, hopefully, you know, you know, you get a more experienced, you know, defender in, uh, not to show, you know, Jan Kuto maybe, or, I don't know, he's coming in, maybe, is it a right back, and Jan Kuto is maybe on loan from Man City, potentially, I'm not too sure, uh, potentially, James McCarthy has been training with new teammates since arriving from Crystal Palace, and he could be in the match day squad this weekend, though the Irish midfielder is unlikely to be in the start, so he could be on the bench, you know, come on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we might see a bit of action. I don't know. Forward, Kyle, go for Rashi Coop. Um, he's definitely got to keep his uh, his place up in front of Edward. With Phyllis and Leo Bada, the, the most likely candidates to join the Japanese international in a three man attack. As for Hearts, um, Jamie Walker has missed the last two matches with an ankle injury, but the winner could con- be in contention to feature this weekend. Uh, Stephen Kingsley missed the victory against St Mirren due to illness, but he be he may be available to play in the back three against Celtic alongside John Sutter and Craig Halkett. Garmakai Stephen, who scored against Celtic in the open day of the season, and Josh Ginley are both expected to support the centre striker Boyce again in attack. He'll be dangerous to lean Boyce again, um, which means the likes of Aramad, I told you last, last name, and Ewan Henderson, eh? Um, are set to begin on the bench. Celtic possible starting the lineup. I'm pro- probably just going to look for the same lineup as they played on Thursday night. Except for Mario Bado, probably been fingers crossed anyway. Uh, so potential Celtic starting the lineup for tomorrow's game against Hearts. Uh, Joe Hart outstanding two saves he made when Celtic were in danger. Um, Ralston, Wells, Starfelt, Taylor, McGregor, Sorrow, Turnbull, um, Abada, Furahashi, Voj. I mean, I don't mind if Roderick plays a game, but maybe Andrew think you know give him a rest for, until you know Wednesday night, but. You never know, maybe Sorrow play or um when Sorrow came on he was fantastic, I thought. He never gave the fouls away. He gave away, you know, the you know, the opening game of season or you know what I mean, the the start. So looking forward to seeing more of Sorrow. Um for Hearts potentially it's gonna be Gordon, Souter, Halkett, Kinsley, Smith, uh I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's last name, Howdy, Cochran, uh, Ginley, Boyce and Mackay Stephen. Um I'm gonna say two one Celtic. Yeah, I'm gonna be a tough game, but I think Celtic will get over the line. Uh, the open day of the Premiership saw a closely fought contest. As I said, you know it's going to be a close game between two sides last month, and I know our Titan Carter could be on the cards on Sunday. Celtic so seem to turn a corner in the last week, and we feel that their threat in the final third can hurt Hearts this time around. Uh, Hearts themselves have been brilliant in front uh, form so far this campaign. You can't say you know a foot wrong with them, but their six game one run may come to an end at Park End, and hopefully it does on Sunday. Um, we'll just have a look at it before we go guys in the video if you have enjoyed it please subscribe and like and share the video as per usual um, this is the fixtures left until the end of August so obviously you got the game against Hearts in Sunday League Cup and then on Wednesday night we've got Altmar the first leg and then on Saturday so Saturday we play St Mirren at home which is another home game it's good so we get three home games in the bounce so we've got obviously Hearts tomorrow AZ Altmar and St Mirren so that should bring the, the Celtic the players and the obviously and post Coggle as well, you know, fingers crossed, you know, um, you know, we get the, the, the score right, you know what I mean, the, the atmosphere right, you know, help the players get the wins and do what you need to this season, just grind out the wins, because we need it every 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 week, we need to grind out the, the performances. Um, I, I see us beating Hearts tomorrow, Altmar, it'll be a tough game, but I think, with, you know, with the atmosphere and I know you you don't play playoff, I think we can do it. Um, it's almost the first leg, but, as long as we, you know, defend, defend well, and we score goals, I see he's going through. And then we get um, St. Mirren at home the Saturday, a week today. Um, that's a free, free kick call at home. And then you've got Altmar on the Thursday. Is that a Friday? I don't know. It's a Thursday. Pretty sure it's the Thursday anyway. Surely it's kind of a Friday. Surely. No, it's a fr- Thursday. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I was I don't know. I said a Friday. He said Altmar on the Thursday, the twenty fifth, away, and then. You've got Rangers on the Sunday. That is going to be Rangers also play on the Thursday night as well. They play away to Alaskat. Um so that is going to be the old firm kind of weekend. So that's going to be interesting, guys. Uh, my prediction for the game is obviously two one Celtic. Hopefully it's a bit more um, clean sheet potentially. I don't know. Hearts are a very good side. They'll test us. Hopefully we can get a clean sheet. 
fingers crossed. Um, subscribe and like, guys. I'll see you guys in the view. Uh, the match, the match day vlog. Sorry, tomorrow.